Hello everyone. So in this video, what I'm going to do is uh, walk through setting up our environment. Uh, there was a little bit of uh, a couple of things that seemed didn't kind of go the way I wanted it to. So probably it's going to be best if I, since I'm uh, logging in really remotely, I'm not able to kind of uh, press this. Okay, all good now. Okay, so we want to first thing is set up our uh, interfaces. So what we can do is go here and edit connections. And there are two ways to do this. So what I'm going to do here is Ethernet, uh, Ethernet 1. Okay, Ethernet 1 is the one that is tied to our uh, management network or the network that we will be using to manage the uh, environment now my ip address is 192.168.77.34 based on what we agreed on in that uh, in that documentation that is shared between us uh, you don't need to specify by the way a gateway or any of that because this is going to be used just for management so we can do this and then this one uh, we can use for uh, our uh, this one also should not be DHCP based on our settings. This one should be 192.168.1.50.24 and the gateway is 192.168.1.1. And then the DNS server, by the way, will be 192.168.1.1 for this case. So let's just uh, kind of reset them. So that's one, and then that's the other. So to make sure I disconnected both of them, and now I connect both of them. So this is Ethernet 0 connected, and then Ethernet 1 is also connected. Good. So now if we check our settings, we should have this, and then we should have this based on our... Uh, Again, uh, based on our uh, settings that we have on our documentation. So now let's continue setting up. So what we'll do now is log on to the firewall. So let's log on to the firewall. Make sure we can access that. So as you can see, and make sure you've done the reset for the firewall. So make sure you've already reset the firewall. So that way uh, you can, uh, the password for the firewall, so that way you can log into it. I'm going to change it again, uh, just to make sure that it is done. I don't want to deal with this again. And admin update i should be all set on this end okay so we should be all set now what we can do is for example do one or two of those ip addresses so you can see this is the gateway uh, the dhcp range the subnet all of that we can also, by the way, add the DNS server. So the DNS servers will be 1.10, which is where our uh, Windows Active Directory is. And then we have the Google and then the other Google one, uh, public DNS server. So you can use those. Uh, other options, uh, the default will be 192.168.1.1. We can set those, the domain name, is hunt stem dot local and we can now save this now what we want to do by the way is make sure our security onion uh, has the IPs fixed 
so what we could do is you can log in here and then you can cancel this I'll show you how to run it again cancel that's fine by the way so let's get the IP addresses so we have three interfaces uh, one is going to be for monitoring one is going to be for collecting the logs and uh, used to be the management side uh, for receiving the logs from our systems on the network and then one will act as our kind of uh, this is going to be acting as our receiver so this end will be our receiver this end will be our uh, kind of uh, network that has the management side so where we do the management this is the dot 77 and this one again will be uh, an interface on the network to collect the logs and all of that you'll see when I walk through all of this so what we need to do is make sure for example this one that's going to be the interface security onion calls it the management one uh, is going to be collecting so we uh, on the document shared this is dot one dot twenty so we need to change that so the way we can do it is uh, statically uh, through the DHCP put a static uh, uh, like lease on that so every time it gets a new uh, IP address it will get this uh, this value which is sorry 1.1.20 so let's see copy this uh, ethernet so if we go back to our uh, server Kali machine and say add over here down at DHCP static so what we need to do is 00, zero and then we can see it was 00, zero uh, what is it 5056 so 50 56 and these are actually for vmware or vSphere then after that we have ad 8p 9c ad 8p 9c just let's double check ad 8p 9c uh, ad 8p 9c okay all good and then we can say that this is our uh, sock whatever then the IP address is 192.168.1.20 and then the host name is security onion or SO you can give a description if you want let's use the create ARP now the DNS uh, uh, these will if you want to specify something different uh, put that otherwise leave it it will take the ones we already specified same thing for everything else so I think we should be now uh, good to go so if we hit save we should be good and if we apply changes if we apply the changes you should be able to it's now applying the changes let's wait for that on the same side let's log into our uh, windows one of the windows machines okay so if you log into the admin of of this one and the password is also uh, with you okay so I keep I always keep uh, messing with this password so this is now logged in we can also get the IP address for this one so we can also statically define it from the I mean from the DHCP server have everything uh, configured from there so here it's now 50 and as you saw our threat actor system is also going to be 50 so we need to change this I know it's currently uh, probably uh, what did I do did I click on oh sorry so let's go here and let's go to change adapter options and we can do by the way this two ways so we can either come here and and define it or we can also do it in our firewall i'm gonna just do it over here for uh for now but you get the point so if i disable i enable again and now if we do this we should be good so if i ping my firewall we should be able to do that and the domain is also workable or reachable i think 
let's log out and log in using maybe another user account. So I'm just going to pick another domain account this time. So let's log into the domain. And I'm just going to really use the John Lee uh, just because it has a short password. So forensics. And then uh, now it's all working. Did I go John Lee, not John? John Lee and now we should be good to go okay so this one is all, all set now we should be good on this end let's log out and get back into the admin because we will need the admin later on okay uh, let's log into the local admin so make sure you put that administrator make sure you put in that uh, dot slash thing at the beginning and then then the password enter okay so this is done and we are all set on this side now this one is still the static map has been changed okay did we so is there anything I think we hit this I thought we did but we might okay so we are all set on this end so now over here by the way we have two ways of doing this Either you reboot now or, or log out. So if you log out, log in, uh, you'll get the uh, the settings again uh, to set up the network. Uh, but probably, uh, and by the way, if you want to see if, how is that done, so if you check the .bash uh, profile, you can see this is a command that's being executed to when, when you log in to kind of, uh run the setup okay the setup wizard for security onion so if you later on forget and you want to know how that is done this is how it's being done as you can see here there's a directory called uh, security onion and then inside it is a setup directory and then you can see all we need to do is so dash setup iso and then uh, you go from there now what i'm going to do i'm going to really reboot to make sure uh, my networks all kicked in properly okay so let me just wait for that a little bit this should be all good and all set up properly we don't have to worry about the gateway you don't need to log into the gateway anymore uh, this is our domain controller we don't need that for now as well we are mostly gonna in this video set up the uh, the gateway uh, some settings of this one which we already did and the windows box and then we will also do the uh, configure security onion to collect logs from the systems but that's going to take some time so let's just do one step at a time for now uh, where are we so let's go back here okay so user one and then the password as you know okay so this is going to bring up the installer yes we want to do the installation yes we want to do the standalone so select that agree yes and then this by the way will take some time this is a standard installation not an air gapped network uh the uh host name is going to be security onion uh, this is not the fully qualified domain name as it uh, said if you want to put a short description you can otherwise just hit enter now here is telling you which NIC is going to be used for management. Now in our case, by the way, this is the one that's going to be used for management. This is the one that is going to be connected to our LAN and it's going to be used to send uh, all of our, let's say, uh, uh, logs and all of that. So make sure you select the third one, okay, and then hit enter. And now we are going to use a static IP, not a dynamic one. So, okay. And our static IP is going to be 192.168.1.20 slash 24. Okay. The gateway 192.168.1.1. And then the DNS servers, just make sure you add the, uh, the one for the domain controller, just in case we need it. So it's dot 10. Okay. And then comma 8.8.8 etc and then okay and now we can specify the domain which is hunt sim which is for hunting simulation okay 
and now we should have a direct connection to the internet and we need to keep this so yes keep them all the default now it's asking you for the monitoring interface which is the one that's going to be sniffing the traffic the first one is our monitoring so just select that one and then select ok and now uh, the user that you'll be using so i'm going to use user one hunt them dot local okay i'm going to use that just remember it and then here the password twice please use a password that you will remember we want to access the security onion setup through the ip address do you want to allow access to security on installation via web interface yes we want that to happen so here what we can do either specify a single ip or we can specify a network so i'm going to do this network uh, and then we can add the other later on so for at the beginning i'm going to do this one which is our lan itself okay and now you can see these are going to be your setup configurations please make sure everything looks like this if not go back and do it again otherwise we are going to be facing some problems moving forward okay so make sure you have this set up okay and then now uh, if you are all done select okay so the installation process will start now this is going to take a lot of time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to split this video so i'm going to stop now and then after this is all done i will re uh, continue the recording of the uh, the setup for everything else but for now by the way everything now depends on uh, this installation because after that we are going to download from security onion the agents that we will be installing on uh, our windows machines and then those agents we they will we will be using them to connect back to our security onion so that's where we'll have a seam so security onion is not just going to act as uh, a sensor to monitor traffic it's also going to act in our scenario here as a seam where it's all of the traffic other than sorry all of the logs are being shipped to it and then that way we can do all of our uh, hunting through uh, security onion so for now i'm gonna stop this recording and then i'll pick up and continue uh, after this has been done thank you and see you in another video